season was over once and for all. But it's bad, and you can't stop the Madden, the tackling, the interceptions, the epic miss of scoring at the byline. This is Let's Play Madden NFL 12. Yeah. Welcome back to Pittsburgh. Yeah. Running up the sidelines. Batter down. Oh, God. He's going. He could go. Oh, my God. Touchdown. Wow. Unbelievable. <laughs> All right, guys. This is my new Let's Play. That is 12. By Flippin' Mon. Let's do it, let's do it, let's do it. Yeah, so we're gonna hit new Frenches here, and that's how you say it, Frenches. Yeah, cause, <laughs> so, fun story about this game. Uh, we're just gonna pick the uh, the Steelers. They're no, no, we're gonna go with the Eagles in this uh, new Let's Play. But so, fun fact, uh, <laughs> I got this, uh, I started playing Madden really, 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 really young as a kid. I think I was only about, uh, we'll just leave everything at default. But I, I think I was only like uh, five or six? And so I didn't really know how to pronounce words. So I thought, you see how it's spelled F-R-A-N-C-H-I-S-E? Okay, because I mean, Fran makes sense. You know, like the name, you know, like Fran Drescher. Ah, it's me, Fran Drescher. You know, Eagles, I could read that. But then I looked at the at the last part of the word, the C-H. So I was like, cheese? Is it cheese? Because, because cheese? Because, you know, C-H-I, you know, chi, like, like the Chinese, you know, believe chi. Chi, you know, so that made sense, Fran Chi, and then it has S-E, so the word I was thinking of, you know, there is a word that ends in I-S-E that sounds like uh, is, like, uh, what is the name, I-S-E, let me think of a word, I-S-E, and it sounds like is, um, not front, um, it was, uh, oh, oh, the word's right on the tip of my tongue, um, well, I can't think of that word right now, but there is a word in the English language, it ends in I-S-E, and it, do, it, it sounds like is, it sounds like is, um, uh, not the not the verb is, but it's a noun. The, the word I'm thinking of is a noun. I can't think of, you know what I mean? It's like right on the tip of, uh, of uh, you know. But anyway, so but I saw I was like Franchi, you know, chi, Franchis, Franchis, you know, Fra I was like Franchis. That doesn't sound right. I was like maybe it's Franchis, 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 Franchis. You know, like Francis, and then that's what I thought as a kid because I tried saying it out loud like 12 times and eventually I was like Francis like Francis anyway guys long story short we're gonna start this let's play in five four three two one left off we're launching into outer space next time on Dragon Ball Z. I'm sorry. Next time on Flood and Mon 14's channel. We'll actually start a game and we'll start the let's play because now the end of the video. The video ends in five, four, three, two, one. Kick off. Let's do it from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Seto, take it to the hoop. Ultimately, 
Lincoln Financial Field here in the great city of Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. A beautiful day in the city of brotherly love. We're here for a preseason contest between the Eagles and the Ravens. The Ravens playing on the road, always a difficult place to win. What does the traveling team have to do? Well, Gus, there's no question that uh, not only do you have to overcome a terrific football team, but you have to overcome one of the toughest environments in the National Football League. So emotionally, you almost have to find your own energy on the field. The bench has to be alive. You have to be cheering for each other. You just have to create that wall emotion to overcome what the crowd is giving you on the other side. All right, Chris, with that in mind, let's go down to the field. We are ready for football. Cundiff gets set to kick it away. Gets it to the 21. Jones was there for the stop. And here comes Michael Vick. Drafted way back in 2001 out of Virginia Tech. A double threat through the air and on the ground. They'll start at the 21-yard line. Now we have a first down and 10 to go. He's searching for a receiver. He rolls to his left. There's a flag on the play. He's dropped, and that's a huge sack. And this one looks like it's going to come back. First and four judgment on that play. You have to be aware of the situation, and that's a big first down. Shut up, Chris. So the penalty pushes them back for a first and long. Throws to his right. Here are the offensive starters, and it's a unit that has no shortage of big-time weapons. Chris Whiteout, Deshaun Jackson from Cal, might be the most exciting player in football right now. Yeah, when he gets his hands on the ball, you can hear the crowd gasp as if they're expecting something incredible to happen, and a lot of times it does. I haven't seen many guys come in the league and make as many big plays as Deshaun Jackson has. And Chris, he is definitely primed to be a performer to watch in this one. Throws it to the middle. It's a pick! My bad, guys. <laughs> all right, but with that, that's going to be the end of the episode. I hope you all enjoyed it. And welcome to Baltimore, the Playoff King, Playoff Joe. At six feet, six inches. Let's see if the Ravens can get a touchdown. First play, first play. I'm going to go all out blitz. Let's see if J Playoff Joe can throw a touchdown. First play, baby. There you go. Overload, roll one. Ball at midfield. Do it, Playoff Joe. I love Joe Flacco. Well, I did in his first, like, seven seasons. After that, not so good. Not so good. All right. You didn't go for it, Playoff Joe. You didn't go for it. So, yeah, we're actually going to quit the game here. But, uh, yeah, this, this was kind of a short preview of my new upcoming Let's Play of Madden NFL 12. I hope you all enjoyed. We're back to Philadelphia. And we're going to let this song play out, and I will see you guys all next time. Have a good day. Let's go. 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 I'm ready for football. Uh by the way, in the comments, let me let me know guys. What are you looking forward to most in the upcoming NFL season? Uh yeah, yeah. Who do you got picked for the Super Bowl? Uh here's the comment questions to close out the episode. This is actually a good idea. Number one, who's your Super Bowl pick? Number two. Do you think Tom Brady is actually going to hit the field? Or will he pull up Brett Favre and retire, unretire, retire, unretire? The day of, imagine, like, how news-breaking would this be? And I'm not Tom Brady's agent, but think about this. What if the day of, first day of the preseason, Tom Brady's like, you know what? Strike that, reverse it. I know I unretired. 
but my wife talked to me last night and uh you know he gets all serious and quiet for a moment he's like my wife talked to me and I, I, just, I just gotta retire i gotta retire for real this time guys i'm sorry I'm sorry to let you down coach and he just walks off the field dude how epic would that be how epic would that be how that would make NFL history and no one's gonna you know be mad at Tom Brady like oh you let your team down and you let the Bucks down you know no one's gonna be like well Tom Brady is such a but he let the Bucks down no no I mean he got the Bucks a Super Bowl a free Super Bowl ah okay it wasn't free but I mean he could have went to any team let me put it that way I'm not saying he was guaranteed to win the Super Bowl with any team I mean if he had went to the Jaguars yeah, they would have won a playoff game. They wouldn't have won the Super Bowl. Um, he's not that good, you know what I mean. But uh, but the Jaguars do have a lot of cap room. Uh, regardless, regardless, they have a long way to go in that franchise. The biggest step is there, but you know, they, now they need some quality receivers. And since they lost Maurice Maurice uh, Jones Drew, they really could use a solid running game. But uh, anyway. And defense, and defense. Remember Saxonville? Oh, man, I loved Saxonville. Saxonville, you know, there's been many, you know, renditions of teams in the NFL. But of all, out of all the teams, out of all the great defenses, a lot of people are going to say, oh, yeah, my favorite was Doomsday. My favorite was, you know, the, the Seahawks, you know, that, that 2012 to 2015 Seahawks defense. A lot of people are going to say that defense. I don't blame you. That defense went to, like, two straight Super Bowls, so... But, like, no, my favorite defense ever, ever in the history of the NFL, and I'm not even a Jacksonville fan, it's Saxonville, man. That team was loaded on defense. And I remember they won, like, four games where their offense only scored a total of nine points within four games. But the defense score was so good, and the defense also scored, you know. So, But the defense won, like, four games in a row, in a row, when their offense was anemic, like and anemic's being very kind. Like, how are you only going to score nine points within four games on offense? That's atrocious. But uh, yeah, for that reason, like Saxonville, I mean, they didn't even make the playoffs that year. But for that reason, you know, Saxonville has always been my all time favorite defense just because the sheer degree of difficulty. You know what I mean? Like, Imagine being that loaded on defense and like being one of the one, one of the all-star guys and just being like, man, I love playing on this defense. Ooh, it's fun. Yeah, it's fun. We're getting we're getting interceptions. We're getting tackles. We're getting, you know, fumbles. We're getting we're getting run backs. Ooh, this is great. Yeah, but uh, ooh, look at it. Look at number 11 over there. Oh, God. And then everyone's just like, you know, you know, you know, you guys ever seen Final Fantasy 8? Like I'm putting my I'm putting my hand to my head right now. Face palm, you know. <laughs> You know, that's, that's essentially like if you were a, a Seattle defender on that. And I don't know why I'm going on this long tangent. I'm just going to keep recording, though. I don't know. Like if you were a, a, a Jacksonville defender on that Saxonville team, that's exactly how you felt. It's just like, man, yeah, I love hitting people. I love like showing them the business. I love being a man. You know, I love I love just taking the ball away, man. But then it's just like, whoo, yeah, this is fun. This is fun. Hit it up. But damn, that offense, though. <laughs> but it's just like, I mean, as a defender, the only thing you care about is, number one, limiting points. Right. Number two, getting a pay raise. And but you, the best way to get a pay raise is to update your resume, as Shannon Sharp would say. To update your resume, the three le- things that look good on defense are stops for loss, you know, tackles for loss. That's pretty big. Uh, number three, third down. Your third down defense is probably the most looked at thing as a defender in the NFL. If your third down defense is trash, you can have great first down and second down defense. But if they if they preview the tape of your last year and your third down defense, you committed penalties. You like allowed the short yardage gain. You you know let's say a receiver caught it short of the first down, but they broke a tackle through you. Yeah, you ain't getting paid, or you might be cut. Or, you know what I mean? Because that's basically what the, what the coaches look at. They look at your third down defense, 
tackles for loss and your turnovers. If you have any. I mean, some people don't have turnovers, but they also look at your potential turnovers. You know what I mean? Because sometimes you'll like, like let's say you're a big old lineman. Sometimes you'll cause a fumble, like bam, you'll knock it. You know, you'll strip sack them, but then the, the offensive guard will like pick it up. And then, but the coaches look at that. They'll be like, okay, that's a potential turnover. It's just, you know, they got lucky on the bounce, you know, whatever. So. Uh, but, yeah, those are the three things. Turnovers, tackles for loss, and uh, third down defense. Your third down defense. I guess fourth is, like, penalties, but that's, eh, you know, that's, like, discipline, awareness, you know. It's, you know, you should, you should if you're, if you've made it all the way to the NFL, you should be, you should be able to have good defensive awareness and, uh, you know, know the rules, essentially. So, because that's the easy part. That's the easy part is knowing the rules. But, but yeah, Saxonville, man, Saxonville. Oh, I could make an hour-long video just naming each player on Saxonville on the defense, on the defense, and then talking about their impacts over, you know, the three or four years that Saxonville was a thing. Uh, but, yeah, anyway, guys, the reason I've I've kind of been muting also is, like, I'm pretty sure music gets copyright striked, so I'm not going to play the music too long. But just know that the music in this game is pretty epic, pretty epic. Uh, but I don't know why I went on a five minute you know praise rant for Saxonville believe me when I first started this video that was not planned at all but uh anyway guys um I am going to wrap up this discussion here let me guys know what you yeah your Super Bowl pick for this year your favorite team in the comments your favorite year of Madden that sounds like a good comment question and number four Vote in the comments below, if you guys don't mind. I'm going to give this video, because, you know, today is the second. Football season doesn't start until the 23rd. I'm going to give it 21 days or so. Let me know in the comments, guys, what team... Because I am going to pick the Eagles by default. That's the team I get to pick. But you can also pick like two or three teams on franchise mode. So what I think I'll do, vote in the comments below what team you want me to uh, do the franchise with. Because basically we're going to start a franchise and we're going to we're gonna pick three teams. We're going to pick the Eagles because I get to pick one team. So we're picking the Eagles. Mainly, mainly just because they have Michael Vick. Michael Vick's broken. But anyway, so I get to pick the Eagles. That's default. The second team will be the highest place vote, and the third team will be the, you know, the, let's say there's like, there's only like six votes in the comments. Let's say there's three votes for Patriots, two for Colts, one for Ravens. Well, what's going to happen is Eagles are going to be on the franchise, Patriots and Colts would be on the franchise, and unfortunately the Ravens would not. So if you really, really, really want me to play as a team, comment below get your friends to comment and uh that's the teams we will be picking but yeah we're picking the eagles regardless just and if hey if i get no votes or like if i only get if i get less than 10 votes what i'm gonna do is we're gonna we're gonna assign each team a number alphabetically and then at the start of the lp we're just gonna roll a dice and we're basically gonna we're gonna somehow alphabetically eliminate them we'll just roll dice and you know what i mean Cause like there's 32 teams, right? So if I rolled five dice, you know, or I could roll just one die because like how would numbers one through f six get picked if I roll five die? Well, if I roll five die, number five could get picked. But how do you how do you account for numbers one, two, three, and four? Oh, you put them at the end, so the numbers would be five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, so you would, put, and then you at the end you have 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, and 38. So, okay, that sounds good. That sounds good. Or we could make a rule that, like, if I roll like five ones, then I get to pick the team because that's essentially that's a really rare die roll. Like, if I roll five sixes, I, I get to decide because that's like ridiculous. Or if I roll like five fives, then I get to pick, you know, one through four. That sounds like a good idea, yeah, to account for one through four. You know, if we end up doing the dice roll. I doubt we will. I'm sure, like, I'll get at least one comment, like, play as the Dallas Cowboys. They're the best team. Oh, my God. 
Oh my God, Cowboys fans are so annoying. But, you know, it is a democracy. And if you want to see the Cowboys, vote in the comments. But anyway, <laughs> that's going to be it for this first video of my new Let's Play of Madden 12. Uh, I know it's not the new Madden, but it's the Madden we deserve. All right. Thank you guys all so much for watching. And I'll see you all in about mm, three weeks for the very for the vote because oh in three weeks we'll go over the vote total you know the uh yeah and the results so uh and oh you can vote on youtube facebook twitter i think i have a google plus yeah i remember the password you can vote on google plus or discord there you or six email you can email me at floodmon flood f-l-o-o-d n-i-n mon eh mon M O N one five one fifteen at gmail dot com. And I will pull all the votes from there, guys. All right. That's it. Outro time is now. We'll play music for like a minute. Thanks, guys. Oh, oh, eh, eh, oh, oh. Escape him from the rock. Let me show you my right. Let's write the song of censor because we're pincered and we don't want a copyright strike to the tensor, fencer, denser. The song's really epic, so let me not commentate over it. This dude's singing about Polly D in Jersey Shore. I love this song. I love this song. <laughs> I just realized that. It's like cha ching, light bulb. Dun 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 dun. I'm on and I'm on. Dying inside. You know it deep inside. I'm singing the wrong uh, loop, but I am in key. There it is, deep down inside. That's what I was singing. That's what I was singing. <laughs> Yeah, oh, 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 let's play a, oh, 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 hey, F, L, O, O, D, I, N, M, O, N, 14, oh, oh, let's play a, <laughs> that's like the perfect intro, dude. I just came up with that intro on the spot, bro. We're keeping that in. This is all like behind the scenes bonus stuff, obviously. But that's gonna be the intro for this LP. It's gonna be like, oh, 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 let's play a. Oh, dude, that is clean, bro. That is clean. That is clean like Jimmy Dean. And I'll see you guys next time. We're working on the outro skits too. So. Uh, da, da, da. I'm balling, I'm high. my bye. Mm, what was that? Oh, hi. <laughs> Hang on, guys. Sorry, I, I gotta end the video here. Hi. <laughs> what are you doing here? What are you <laughs> You're just trying to mess up my recording. <laughs> Man, you're bad. <laughs> well, oh. Yeah. Okay, okay. Hang on guys, hang on.